evening all. Um, you may recall, um, if you read my blog of uh, last night, that I was getting a tad frustrated with these here tumble home panels. And I'm guessing that um, tumble home might be a bit of a mystery to some people. Um, but I wanted to just show you what uh, I've actually done. Um, and I think I've solved my frustration of last night on how to actually get these things measured, marked up, and fitted to a standard that I'm happy with. So these are the tumble home panels, or rather this is the first of the tumble home panels. Uh, and you should be able to make out, if you remember, we've got the bulkhead sticking proud of the hull, angled so. And these are basically the, the small panels, long panels, that fit against the angle, the top of the hull side stringer, um, and basically go right the way forward to the to the forward deck and, and taper down as they do so. So they have to be bent in that plane, they have to be tapered that way, and they also have to, of course, fit um, the angle. Um, the problem that I had was trying to, to hold a piece of ply in place whilst putting pressure against it to be able to mark this curve along here. Um, uh, and this was the first problem, was getting it to, to, to fit along here. Um, last night I did try these pieces of temporary ply just screwed into place to hold the ply in, in, in position um, but I actually made the mistake of screwing them tightly to the, to the whole side stringer um, so I'd got nowhere to mark um, suddenly came to me uh, tonight that by leaving them loose um, so there's actually room for the ply to overlap the top of the stringer um, I can then leave it in place, go inside the hole mark the line and cut it. Um, the other thing that I've done, just jump over here briefly, uh, you should be able to see this, I've set the jigsaw up uh, at a really sharp angle to match the angle of the whole side, um, which gives me a better fit along this bottom edge here. Um, it's not perfect, but it's within the, the tolerance that I'm happy with, given that all of this will be very solidly epoxy filleted and also glass taped over. So that should give you the, the overview. Um, what I'm going to do is just jump inside now and, um, and show you it from that side and, uh, and give you a little bit more of an explanation. Okay, here we are inside the hull, um, looking at that same panel from the inside. And you can see more clearly how the panel sits on the hull side stringer here. And also the angle, uh, in this case the deck beam box, um, central bulkhead here. Um, and a main bulkhead here. Um, I have to say I haven't got the angles perfect, but again, um, within the tolerance that I'm, I'm reasonably happy with. Um, and the joint, because it's chamfered um, at that angle I set the jigsaw to, is also tight enough for me to, to, to be happy with. Um, the other challenge is to, having got the bottom marked and fitted, is to then get the, the top edge cut. As you can see, we're, we're high here. Uh, and also a bit high here. So what I'm what I'm doing here is using this long this long batten um, temporarily screwed to the top. Um, and what I've done is, is screwed it into position at the right height. Um, what I did was actually mark on the the back side uh, and put a couple of little drill marks through. Uh, sorry, drill holes through, which I can pick up then on the outside. Um, screw the batten into place in the right position and then basically use it to to, to, to get the right angle um, again if I come down um, may not work that well excuse me and uh, because of the, the light behind but perhaps you can see there there's you get a better idea of the the curves involved in this in these panels and um, it'll be the same the same with all of them but if I can get them somewhere close, um, fitted at the bottom, cut at the top, um, then I'm uh, a long way, a long way nearer to to getting the, a decent fit. So, a better night tonight. A better night tonight. <laughs> um, I was very, very frustrated with this last night, but I'm pleased tonight that um, that I've managed to, uh, to to solve the problem, and I think I now know how I'm going to uh, tackle the rest of them um, and given that uh, this is the last evening work session before um, 
I'm off down to the south coast to the Bewley Boat Jumble. Um, um, I won't be doing anything else until until Monday, so I'm pleased to have sorted this and not had to go away uh, with it buzzing around my head as a frustration. So I uh, hope, uh, hope this has made things a bit clearer, and thanks again for your interest, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, bye.